So we have a new micro bubbler situated using the cross uh, airline tubing. We see that the bottom part where the epoxy is is touching uh, the airline tubing, but nothing else is touching the bubbler. That prevents bubbles from building up on the wall or on the, uh, the needle. So now we'll situate this. And I will turn on the experiment to check if there's any turbulence or vortex shedding, which there probably will be. We'll go to Reynolds number of 2000. Turn on the ink. See a few bubbles come out. Give it a shake to get any bubbles that are stuck out of there. This is pretty good for the needle being um, maybe about right here. Okay, we'll use a flashlight to see if any bubbles have accumulated on the orange cone. Doesn't look like it at the moment. Okay, now we'll turn bubbles on. So I turned it up to about five millimeters. Pressure's dropping now. Turn them on slowly. Here come a few. See that they're coming out on the side right now. That's because the bubbler's on this side. So most of the bubbles are on the left side here. See that it's still laminar, but unsteady. Here comes a big bubble that Cause turbulence. Give it another shake just to see if any bubbles are stuck. Yep. Looks like they are getting stuck. Let's check and you're accumulating. Okay, we see a few here. Just on the side that the bubbler's on. Doesn't look like there are any bubbles elsewhere. And now we see some bubbles accumulating on the PVC. At this point, looks like the flow is turbulent.